whereas preventing child abuse depends on community-oriented programs and services that involve a co collaboration of professionals to prevent further victimization of children. <clears throat> child physical and sexual abuse continues to occur when community members are unaware of how appropriate to, to report child abuse and neglect. There is no racial, social, economic class that is immune to child sexual abuse. Child abuse not only directly harms, but also affects the entire family system. Free specialized services are provided to the community, including forensic interviews, counseling, forensic eva evaluations, information and referrals, community awareness and education, as well as the support and advocacy of victims for child abuse. The James M. Berry Center for Children plays a critical role in the lives of children who are victims of physical and or sexual abuse or witnesses to a violent crime. The James M. Barry <coughs> Center for Children also assists children in feeling comfortable by providing a safe, home-like environment for them to provide information about their abuse. Whereas the James M. Barry Center for Children works collaboratively with all the enforcement jurisdictions, the Department of Human Resources, the District Attorney's Office, to provide a multidisciplinary response to investigators and intervention of child physical and sexual abuse. Therefore, I, Sherman Guy, the mayor of the city of Gaz, on behalf of the Alabama Network of Children's Advocacy Centers, hereby proclaim April 16th to the 20th, 2016, 28th, the James M. Berry Center for Children, <clears throat> and call upon all citizens, community agencies, faith groups, medical facilities, businesses to increase their participation in our effort to protect children and support the intervention efforts provided by the James M. Berry Center for Children. I will say, I always like to say this, it, it applies in this, but one problem you have with a lot of the younger people coming along, their parents don't pay any attention to them or do some of these things that we're talking about now. Uh, studies show they get to the fifth grade and they can't read and understand what they're reading and do math. They start going downhill, they get embarrassed, they get kicked out of school or worse. They start running with the wrong people. Thank you, uh, Mayor Guyton. I appreciate the opportunity to be here uh, again this year uh, with the council. Uh, as the director of the Barry Center, we're thrilled to add to what Tammy said um, so eloquently about uh, the numbers of children that are sexually abused or physically abused and that also relays here in our community. Uh, we do see children and kind of that add on that additional part um, for some children that do disclose in school and then some that tell a friend or a friend's mom or there's a police report done or a direct call to DHR. The Barry Center is there and available to provide um, hopefully that as quickly as possible that intervention service to that child for them to be able to come in for a, a forensic interview. We're especially trained to talk with children in a way that gives them the opportunity to share their information. Today I have Sharon Harris with me, who's our forensic interviewer, and Betty Wetzel, who are both uh, have had long-term commitments to the Berry Center and to the children of this county. Um, and so I wanna make sure to highlight the work that they do uh, as forensic interviewers and as therapists with our children and families. You'll see I've enclosed some information for you. You all know that uh, this year, this past year, the Berry Center has had an opportunity to move to 605 South 4th Street, still here located in Gadsden. Um, we have moved into the United Way building, and so we, it's given us an opportunity to have um, a much larger facility, but we wanna thank the city um, because we, for 15 years we were there at East Chestnut. And so we wanna thank you for that opportunity um, to initiate our program and to start providing services. But being in a larger location has given us an opportunity to grow and provide more services. And we're now able to see family members, we're able to see siblings of our victims as well, um, as well as provide therapy groups and community education. And so as the year progresses and we're a little more settled into our home, certainly you'll see more and more services being offered and so I wanted to make sure to point that out to you. You'll notice on our annual report that I've enclosed for you that certainly Gadsden has the largest number, the largest percentage of children that we see um, at 32% of the 253 forensic interviews that we provided this past year. 
we're seeing more and more juvenile crimes, and certainly we work with um, City of Gadsden uh, detectives that are in our, our juvenile division, um, but we're seeing more and more crimes of that nature, as well as crimes that um, involve pornography and um, you know, technology kinds of crimes. So uh, I wanted to make sure to point that out for you as well. And give you an opportunity if you had any questions about the Berry Center or any of the services that we provide, certainly feel free to ask those. But um, thank you for highlighting the work that we do and that recognition of Berry Center Week. We will have our annual pinwheel ceremony at the courthouse, um, and it will be located in the Sheriff's Department in their multimedia room. And so I invite you all to that. I've enclosed in here for you uh, different events that we're gonna be having, which include the pinwheel ceremony. We're also asking um, just community citizens to wear blue on Fridays. It doesn't have to be a special t-shirt or anything like that, but just an opportunity to bring awareness um, as you saw in, in the news today, um, if you've seen the headlines for the newspaper this morning, uh, you know, certainly there are um, cases of all kinds of physical abuse, of sexual abuse. 87% uh, of the children that we see are cases of sexual abuse, but, um, you know, we certainly see children that have experienced physical abuse or sexual abuse or have witnessed violent crimes here in our community. And again, we work with all of our law enforcement jurisdictions in that regard. So uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for recognizing the Berry Center and the work that we do. And um, I appreciate your support always.